Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to join me for a little bit of grounding down and breathing and settling down into a few moments of grounding yourself. My name is Tara, and I am with the Challenged Athletes Foundation based in San Diego, California. And what Challenged Athletes Foundation does is provide people with physical disabilities the opportunity to be physically active with sport and community. I am a Challenged Athlete myself. I'm a below the knee amputee from a trauma in 2005 and through the Challenged Athletes Foundation I have been given the gift of my inner athlete that I didn't know I had before and a community of people with support and love and activities that keep me going and keep me motivated. So thank you again for taking a few moments out of your day. I think that one of the most important things that we can all focus on right now with these uncertain times is grounding ourselves down and having some inner peace so that we can navigate the world around us a little bit better and a little bit calmer. I think that um, with so much uncertainty around us, with the world, with our health, with our jobs, our families, traveling, all of that, it's really important to ground down in yourself so that we can handle all of the uncertainty. What I like to do and to remind myself and all of my friends and family is to breathe. And as simple as that sounds, it's very challenging to take the time and take the moments to take breaths. Deep, cognizant breaths. Um, I think with any sort of ability, disability, advantage, disadvantage, that is what we can all come back to and have in common is our breath. Some of us move differently, some of us hear and see differently, and some of us can do everything easy, but breathing is, is something we need to be reminded of. So I want to just start with closing your eyes and picturing the word gratitude. Whatever comes around that too, you might see a family, a friend, your health, whatever comes around that word is fine, but just picture the word gratitude. And that's a positive mindset to start. It's a positive lens to look through life in, is a lens of gratitude. So close your eyes and look at the gratitude. And take a deep breath with your eyes closed through your nose, out through your mouth, and open your eyes and just feel your body. Feel your nerves, feel yourself calming down, feel yourself relaxing. Again, take another breath with your eyes open through your nose, out through your mouth, and again, feel your heartbeat, feel your nerves, feel your body calming. You can feel the blood in your fingertips, everything's starting to kind of calm down. And it's that easy with just a breath. For those of you who are at home sitting in your chairs, if you're standing, if you're moving around the house or the office or wherever you're seeing this from, I encourage you to kind of put everything aside and just relax. For those of you that want to have a little movement, I encourage you to follow me in moving around your neck. Very gently, it's very easy, but it really just gets the blood moving differently than it was when you were sitting. And I really, even if it feels awkward and silly, just follow me and do it. Maybe engage your shoulders a little bit, move them back. Those of you that sit at desks on computers, this is really important. Move them forward one at a time. Bring them all the way up to your ears and relax them. 
I encourage you to move the blood flow in your fingers. It's very simple, but it really changes the thought process when you change the blood flow in your body. You can go from freaking out and being nervous and anxious about something that's not going your way to being able to handling it better. These simple movements are so important. And I encourage you to follow me and bring your arms up while moving your fingertips and getting that blood flow directing the other way. Bring it down and relax your shoulders. Reach for the stars, do your little dance fingers, and then move your body to the right. Just very simply move it. And then move it to the left. Ah, oh, it feels good. Hopefully it's making you smile and relax. And then bring your arms down and just put them down wherever you are, whether you're sitting on the floor, at a desk chair, on your bed, wherever you are. See if you feel just a little bit more calm. I encourage you to take another deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, and make it loud if you can, don't be shy. I was once told a couple years ago while I was doing a yoga session um, that anxiety cannot live in a breath. Think about that. Anxiety cannot live in a breath. So when you are consciously deep breathing and taking a few moments to really relax and feel your breath, you cannot feel anxiety at the same time. So I encourage you, if you're feeling that way, to take a few moments, whether you need to walk away from something or go outside or just shut the door to the bathroom and close your eyes and take a few breaths. I promise you, you will feel better. It's that simple. And that is something that we all have in common together with our abilities and disabilities. We have our breath, and we have the center of ourselves. So when we keep that grounded, we can navigate the world outside of us just a little bit better. I am grateful for this opportunity to be here with all of you today on your Ability Summit Day, and I feel blessed and honored to give you the guidance of breath and to remind you that when you take a deep breath, you cannot feel anxiety. So take that with you, share it with your friends and family, move your fingers, move your shoulders, move your head, move your feet, redirect your blood flow, and I promise you, you'll feel more grounded. I want to tell you how grateful I am that I had this opportunity to speak to all of you for a few moments in your day. Um, I encourage you to move with whatever you're comfortable with in your body and to remind you that what we all have in common at the center of us, whatever our abilities are, is our breath. And when you focus on the breath consciously and you're aware of it, Everything in your body will calm down and relax, and that's something that we can all focus on together. I want to encourage you to find out more about Challenged Athletes Foundation. It's a wonderful organization, and you can learn more about it at the NGO Fair later on today. And I encourage you all to go forward breathing consciously and have a wonderful day.